Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. And uh, today I'm just going to simply show you one small thing that especially people who are uh, looking for the change and preparing for the interviews and everything, I have created one AI-based utility. So what you just need to do, go to NaveenAutomationLabs.com here and click on this AI testing tools. And uh, here you have to select this first option, QA Interview Preparation Assistant by Naveen Automation Labs, launch preview uh, interview prep assistant, open in the new window. There are like some real interview questions from the community experience, company specific, location based, 20 plus detailed technical questions with the follow-ups. So this tool is still evolving. And I thought of creating this tool with the help of uh, Claude. And it's uh, very much a real time. Okay, but again, this is AI guys. So AI might give you some, uh, you know, uh, inappropriate data also, but I tried my best to make sure that okay, it's always giving you the right accuracy with the right data, but there is always a disclaimer. This tool aggregates the information from the various online resources for reference only. Thorough interview preparation requires hands-on uh, practice, real project experience, and deep understanding of core concepts. If you are confident, if your preparation is good, and then you can search for the specific company name, what exactly kind of uh, questions and the uh, uh, behavioral based questions, what is the uh, you know, uh, level, the salary, everything you can check it over here. So for example, let's see, give me any company name. Let's see, for example, if you are in India, I'm looking for, let's see, Paytm. Okay. Some suggestions also coming. You can write your own company name also. Let's see, I'm looking for uh, Paytm. And then I'm looking for Paytm. Let's see, Paytm, uh, Noida or Delhi, whatever. Let's see, Gurgaon. Okay. And uh, this is Gurgaon or Gurugram, whatever you want to write. Country is, I'm writing India, I'm selecting. What is the position that you're looking for? Let's say I'm looking for SZ3 uh, profile, right? Years of experience, I'm writing, let's say around seven years. And then you can write your skills also that for which skill that you are looking for, you are preparing for or asking for the interview questions. So let's see here, I'm writing, let's see one for Selenium web driver, one I'm writing, let's see for the playwright, one language that also I'm preferring, let's see TypeScript. Okay, if the TypeScript is coming, then I can just manually uh, type also, that's okay. And then uh, I can write, let's see, with the test ng also, like comma separated multiple skills or technologies, you can write it here. And let's see, I'm writing with the Cypress also here. So mixture of everything. And get the interview insights, not the exact interview question, but interview insights is the better uh, thing here that you will get to know that how exactly the culture for the interview in this particular company for this particular city. So it will collect the information from the various uh, sources over the internet. It will try to fetch the, you know, a different kind of information about the interview process, how exactly the salary structure, what kind of questions, patterns are going on and the salary range and everything. So at least it will give you a lot of idea here and saying that, okay, that updated on this particular date and the confidence is 88% accuracy. Not 100%, obviously, that no one can give you the 100% things. So Paytm with SJ37 years of experience, and this is what they have uh, given to us. If you see, just a second, I'll show you slightly, a little bit here. So if you see that, okay, the difficulty rating hard, and uh, yes, Paytm takes some really good interviews, and this is a salary range for uh, how many years of experience? For SJ37 years experience, this is an average salary Salary range from 25 lakhs to 40 lakhs, uh, industry average 28 lakhs, okay. And uh, benefits, health insurance, life insurance, stock options and everything. Interview timeline, five to eight weeks, five to 10 days between rounds, best time to apply also they have given. And then interview rounds also is giving me that, okay, generally the first round is about recruiter screening, 30 to 45 minutes, round two for the technical assessment, system design, hiring manager and the bar raiser. And this is uh, like feedback also that they have given, okay, mentioned over here. And then these are the typical testing, uh, technical interview questions, detailed question with the follow-ups. So based on the interview, you know, experiences from the community. So 15, 20 questions, it will, okay, give it to you. For example, design test automation framework from the scratch for FinTech application. How would you implement the parallel test execution, testing payment gateways, integrations? How will you handle the test data management? for sensitive financial data. See, it's very very much like accurate to or similar to the Paytm kind of application. Design a strategy for the testing microservices architecture. Paytm, yes, we can expect these kind of questions from them. How would you implement the visual regression testing and then up for the mobile apps, load testing, 
security testing, cross-platform testing, how do you implement the contract testing between services. So more of a API, you will get to know that where exactly they are more inclined towards. So if you see that more inclined towards the backend gateways, uh, contract testing, API, you know, uh, payment gateways, load testing, something like that. How would you handle cryptocurrency transaction using testing design and monitoring? I don't know why they are asking this question, but maybe somebody has asked and it will actually it is picking that question from online. What is your approach for the real notification system, A-B testing validation in automation? How would you handle flaky test cases? Explain the database testing strategy for the financial transaction. Very relevant question. Very much relevant, right? How would you implement end-to-end -end testing for the wallet application design as a strategy for the third-party API because Paytm integrates with a lot of UPI other systems and everything, bank and everything. And these are the 10 behavioral driven questions. Like tell me about a time where you had to mentor a junior SD or something like that. Okay, describe a situation. See, these are the situation-based questions. Identity, find a critical production issue through the testing and everything, and then critical release cycle. So you can go through it. And these are the common topics generally they are focusing upon. Test automation architecture, security testing, mobile testing, API testing and everything. And these are the pros and cons like leading fintech company in India, strong engineering culture. So it's giving you like good career growth and everything. And the challenge is that let's see high uh, work pressure environment, demanding interview process, long working hours during releases, competitive internal environment. So this is what it's giving to you here. So you can take a decision accordingly. I think these are the challenges with every IT company these days. Preparation tips, study Paytm technologies, tech and business model thoroughly. Practice system design for test automation frameworks. Prepare examples of leading complex testing initiatives and everything. So all these things you can easily like just like, you know, cover it. And it will give you the idea that in which area you have to focus upon for this particular, uh, you know, for this particular uh, company. See, so practice coding problems in the TypeScript and automation scenarios. It means they started using TypeScript over there, right? The skills to focus. These are the skills you have to focus upon and then... Uh, Recommended research platform, verified data, the interview questions and information above are gathered from the real candid experience and shared across multiple platforms. We search Glassdoor, Blind, uh, Geeks for Geeks, Reddit, and other sources to compile authentic interview data here. Okay, so this is like absolutely free of cost. If you really want to support this tool, guys, go for it. And then you can search for any kind of company. Okay, let's see that company which is not even available here. Let's see some company in some, you know, a tier two or tier three city. For example, let's see, I'm looking for a company which is Meta Cube in Jaipur. Okay, there is a company in Jaipur, Meta Cube. All the very less resources are available, okay, for this company. But let's see if I really want to know about country is India. And then I simply say only for SD profile, five years of experience. And then all these skills, let's see, I'm writing here. I'm writing the testing also. I'm writing the manual testing as well. And get the interview insights, right? Okay, so let's wait for a few seconds. It will give you the, whatever it can combine, it will give you the result on the basis of the data that you are giving. And uh, it will present the data over here. So you can just like prepare it well. And then I'll tell you, you can export this data in the CSV also, and then you can share this with your friends and then colleagues as well who are preparing it. See, the confidence level is slightly low, 78%. Why? Because this company is not that, you know, uh, available in the community-wise point of view. And the interview level is also medium to hard, not that super hard or something. Right. So overall, technical is four star, behavioral three star, mid-level expectation, although they are giving the salary information in dollar, but you can just check it separately for that but major thing is that interview timeline interview rounds these are the five rounds that they generally take and then these are the interview questions that okay they are talking about api testing integration with the ui automation see they are using the cypress for that object model for the page object model for the complex application ci cd and all those things and then you can just simple mention here behavioral driven questions also common topics pros and cons and once again here BDD, TDD, and all those things they are asking to implement or read about it, about what do you mean by BDD, what do you mean by TDD, test optimization and everything here. So you can just simply go through it and then do it here. Let's try now some, some really good company. For example, let's see Amazon. Okay. And then Amazon, I'm looking for Bangalore. Bangalore or Bengaluru, whatever you want to write, you can write it. India, and then I'm writing, let's see, for SD3 level. Or a staff SDET also, I can write it. SDET staff engineer or principal SDEP also, we can write it. 
around 10 let's say 12 years of experience guy all these skills let's see i have written get interview insights although skills under technology it is just using for the reference point of view it's not like if let's see for staff estate they are not looking for a selenium or playwright they're looking for something else so it will mention it here so let's see is it a really picking thing or not okay okay now the data is collected difficulty rating is hard it says that and uh, this is a salary range although it should have given the salary range in the you know inr because i'm looking for uh, uh, you know i'm looking for the country india but uh, that's okay and then the these are the interview rounds see six rounds first round is initial phone screening focusing on the experience and role fit and the live coding and the system design for test framework yes this is what they do on-site technical deep dive complex automation scenarios and the architectural decisions system design questions also are there behavioral bar razor culture fit also they take it and the hiring manager like technical leadership and the team collaboration and these are the technical questions let's see what kind of question that's giving to me design a test automation for framework for the microservices architecture parallel test execution across multiple environments again it's a design based question explain your approach for testing distributed system yes typical e-commerce scenarios test data uh, testing aws lambda functions implement the visual regression testing at scale contract testing environment uh, provisioning and the tear down design a reporting system for test results across multiple teams again design based questions so you see that the the level of questions is slightly high okay in amazon as compared to other companies and this is like crazy behavioral driven question like tell me about a time you had to influence a team to adopt a new testing practices so this is like the overall you know the combination of different technical plus behavioral driven question that they are asking and then uh, they have given you the best shot over here okay according to this and if you see that uh, the confidence percentage also we can check it 88 percent because the data is really great available uh in the community reddit and stack overflow and glassdoor everywhere the data is available for amazon especially for amazon india profile microservices topic aws system design test architecture leadership principle scalability cicd coding down security team leadership everything that they have given here preparation tips see challenges high pressure environment long interview process no doubt high performance expectation on call responsibility work life balance competitive internal internal environment the study amazon 16 leadership principle thoroughly uh, practice system design for test framework detailed star method examples you can go through my uh, series also on the channel what do you mean by star method examples and then the review aws testing services practice coding problem on hacker rank and the lead code clearly clearly written here understand microservices testing patterns and everything and this is what it's written here i'm not so i have given you know i have uh, configuration in that way i have done so it will not give you those typical you know micro level technical question okay solve this lead code problem or something like this i'm giving you the overall process where exactly i mean they are going in terms of system design in terms of framework development in terms of your uh, you know uh, testing skills and the coding skills here but not that typical coding questions or lead code questions it does not make any sense to put it over here because there are like thousand of questions like that amazon can ask in any kind of interview but this is just to give you an idea remember that at least you will get to know that what kind of pattern that they follow so whenever you're going for the interviews for a specific company you should know right that what kind of pattern they follow what kind of uh, you know uh, kind of question they ask what is their strategy to ask the questions and then what exactly they are looking for something like this but again this is not 100% proven you never know that okay, a specific project a specific team is looking for something totally different that is not available on internet then in that case it might not obviously will not give you that kind of uh, information here right and then the good thing is that you can just easily you know export everything in the csv so simple click on export the csv and then you just simple download the csv file and then you can uh, prepare accordingly here so see that i'm just opening this particular csv here and uh, it will just give you the csv and then see this so what kind of uh, questions and then so you can download for your top 20 companies top 15 companies that you are looking for and then you can start your preparation accordingly here you see that company name amazon staff sd 12 years so this is your target now this is how you have to prepare okay all these things that they have given over here right so skills to improve pros and cons common topics technical behavior questions and everything so you will get a lot of idea here so that you can use it in your uh, preparation as well
let's try for one more company let's see uh some different country if you really check for let's see i'm looking for google okay and i'm looking for google let's see for uh let's see for uh, usa right so any usa uh we can write it here or let's see i'm looking for uh, google with uh, san francisco see that we have to select that is united states and uh, again i'm looking for let's see uh staff as debt around 12 years experience guy these these skills and let's see what kind of uh, google san francisco uh insights so if you are in usa or any other country you can just check your data here and then i mean write your uh data here inputs here and then on the basis of that the insights and the research will happen and then it will give you the result here so let's see is it uh, giving me the data confidence 90% because yes yeah, there are a lot of material for google as debt it says hard no doubt technical is also like very hard five star and the behavior is also uh, four star this is a google range for as debt with the 10 10 years of experience guy interview timeline 6 to 10 5 to 10 days best time to apply january to march july to september and these are the around 6 to 7 rounds are there and then after that you can see the google interviews also how will you design a framework for distributed system with millions of users across multiple environment testing microservices testing ml model accuracy and the performance test execution orchestration in a multi region region deployment see the questions are very very different under device configuration monitoring alerting engineering uh, you know uh, and the resilience testing and then api contracts some some the questions the standard of the questions are really high now right design the cross uh, cross browser testing infrastructure with selenium grid alternatives what are the alternatives are available how will you approach that and these are the 10 interview behavior driven questions are available how do you handle conflicting priorities between developer velocity in the test coverage see the questions are very nicely designed and given here common topics are written pros and cons preparation tips that they have given that how will you prepare for the google interviews for as debt profile this is what they have mentioned here skills to focus and then again recommended research platform section is available here so you try this you can export again in the csv if you really want to support this tool guys you can support it it's absolutely free of cost design only and only for community and then you can try with that it is especially designed for the uh, qa point of view as debt testing test automation point of view but if you let's see position if you look for some uh product manager role also or sde role also it might give you the data as well but especially designed and uh, configured for the qa based roles here so different companies name whatever okay the company names are uh, according to my knowledge that i have entered let's see paytmc razor pay is also there if you can check with the hcl is also there infos is also there yes informatica is also there what about vmware yes vmware is also coming here but if the company name is not coming then you can write your own company name see for example navin automation we never okay listed like this but again you can write whatever the company name you can write it here if the company name is not listed you can write your own company name here for anything right for example let's see if i'm writing american express blue prism wipro right for the specific uh, region or for the specific city and country you can mention it here so just uh, try that and uh, let me know what's your experience we will keep improving this tool and uh, you just need to i told you how will you go there just simple go to navin automation labs code converter.html or you simple go to my app okay website navinautomationlabs.com and uh, from there you just need to click on this ai testing tools link click on that and once you click on it the first link is there launch interview prep assistant click on that and the uh, the tool is visible here it is based on cloud and it's absolutely free of cost you don't need to pay any single penny for that okay make sure that okay you have to log in with your cloud account and uh, that's it so i i hope you like it and let me know what's your experience with this tool thank you so much guys